Hello and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. In this episode, we're going to be reviewing the Sidemap Editor, which is a, a tool that Microsoft released to make it easy for us to modify the Sidemap. And you guys know how big of a fan I am of the app designer and being able to create custom apps. And obviously when you create a custom app with the app designer, you have the ability to modify the side map. But one of the things that you're unable to do is modify the side map from the app designer on the default or the custom solution that comes with Dynamics 365, like when you create a trial, for example. So we can access the side map pretty simple on the other apps, the additional apps that come with Dynamics 365, but the one that is out of the box seems to be unchangeable. So if I navigate, for example, here to my to my apps, right, you will notice that my default solution, my custom solution, doesn't give me a chance for me to go into the uh, the app designer and access that sidemap editor. However, there is a way to access the sidemap editor, which is the topic for today's tip. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to solutions and we're going to start the countdown and let's go. So here, as you can see, I created a solution called sidemap. If I open this solution, I'm going to make it full screen. Uh, notice that there's nothing. There's no components in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add existing and you can see the third option is sidemap. So all I'm going to do is I pick the sidemap and select the sidemap for the application that I'm trying to use. So notice that the sidemap is right here at the bottom, which is the sidemap that is included with the custom solution, the one that we're trying to customize. And all you have to do is double click. So double click on your sidemap, let me maximize it. And as you can see, the sidemap editor will load, allowing you to then customize it, add sections, move things around, remove things that you may not need. Maybe you don't need invoices to be visible, even if you have permissions to do so, maybe you want to surface it somewhere else or just again just move things around as you can see super simple to use drag and drop move things around to wherever they make sense to you whenever you're happy just save and then you publish and uh, you'll be ready to go so i hope you enjoy today's tip and we'll see you next week